Hey everybody, Jake here and welcome to the hobby. So today I really wanted to put out a public service announcement when it comes to getting your Pokemon cards graded. I'm all for getting your cards graded, however, you should definitely do your due diligence when it comes to which company you're grading with. I've received multiple emails from many of the recently newly established uh, grading companies uh, and but what they're proposing to me definitely has me very worried. A lot of these grading companies have popped up and basically I'm getting emails asking for sponsorships, reviews, and to advertise their card grading services. Now I'm going to, I'm not going to really name any of them since I do believe they reach out to me in good faith. I've received offers for free grading service, free graded Pokemon cars, and a percentage of the sales from each referral I provide to the grading service. One grading service even said they'll send me graded cards with an invoice that makes it look like I submitted those cards to their grading service. All I had to do was open up the graded Pokemon cards on video and I get to keep the cards. Now I declined these offers but this raises a really big question of just, it just sounds ethically wrong. Now, a grading company that's willing to lie to get ahead does not raise my confidence in the grading service. The value of a grading service comes from their reputation. A big part of why you grade your Pokemon cards with PSA, BGS, CGC, is because of how strong their reputation are. They're been in the hobby for a long time and they know what they're talking about so that's a big part of why you would grade with those services now i know a lot of those grading services are really dilapidated right now with how poorly uh they're taking for these graded pokemon cards you know psa bgs you're looking at a years out if you're looking to grade with them CGC, you're probably around eight months out. So a lot of these grading services are really long gone when it comes to how long it'll take for you to get your Pokemon cards back. So I get why you would want to go with another grading service, but definitely do your due diligence when it comes to these grading services because they're pretty darn sketchy right now. A lot of these new grading services, and like I said, I'm not naming a name, and I'm all for new grading services. I definitely think more competition is good for consumers, good for collectors, good for uh, card collectors just like you and me. And I definitely think uh, we need more grading services. I, I'm all for PSA and BGS and CGC. However, those services are all available in the United States. PSA is located in California, BGS is in Texas, CGC is in Florida. So they're all regionally located within the United States. I definitely think both Asia as well as Europe needs to have their own grading services. I think there just needs to be more. Uh, it's just not right for Europe to be sending their cars to PSA and waiting a year and a half or having to use a proxy service to get cards back. That's just not right. So I definitely do think that there are still gaps when it comes to Pokemon card grading that needs to be filled. And I'm glad that some people have stepped up to try to make that happen. However, like I said, it really comes down to reputation. I've declined the offers for the grading services sponsorship that had been offered to me because it just doesn't make any sense to me. You know, I don't want to get special treatment when it comes to having my Pokemon cards graded. That doesn't make any sense at all. There's just too much bias involved and I definitely don't want to be involved in that. However, definitely be on the lookout. If you see some YouTuber out there that are certainly pushing a new grading service, maybe there's a reason for that. Are they getting a lot of money? Are they getting free offers? Because that's something that I definitely would be questioning for sure. As long as it's fully transparent, I'm all for it. But definitely the one that had me the most worried was the grading service that said that they were going to lie and fake a, an invoice to show that I sent in cards that I never sent in and have those cards graded by them and that I would get those cards for free. That just doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, 
you know, my reputation is really important as well. So that's pretty much my warning when it comes to grading your Pokemon cards. You can get your Pokemon cards graded. I'm all for it. But just know the value of the grading service that you're going through. Are they truly worth it? Is it truly worth it to have your Pokemon cards graded by one of these new grading service? Are they going to disappear in two years and their grades are going to become completely worthless? When I see people selling off-brand grading services, the ones that are not the big three, CGC, BGS, or PSA, a lot of the time they'll still use the word PSA inside of the title. They'll say like, oh, this card, this card, it's a, it's a GMP9, but that's really a PSA 10. You know, they'll do stuff like that so that they'll get the search rankings for a lot of these uh, slabs just because a lot of these grading services, some of the newer ones, they just don't have the level of demand that the other three really do. So a lot of time they'll just insert the word PSA into the listing so that their listings will actually show up in some level or form. They'll get some more views or hits. And honestly, in general, I'm all for it. I think that we do need more grading services. However, I don't know. Uh, it's just way too sketchy for me right now. And I definitely don't want to be involved in anything that's that sketchy. Uh, so if someone else gets involved, like another YouTuber gets involved, I'm definitely going to be looking out for it just to make sure that everything's fully legit. Uh, I definitely don't want to get involved in these level of shenanigans. My goodness, our VMAX hits are through the roof right now we, we've gotten four v max hit and two hollow rare and like seven booster pack i know i've been talking a lot about these grade uh, rating services but boy our hits have been really fantastic but yeah that's pretty much it i just wanted to give you guys a warning that a lot of these grading services especially the newer ones uh, might be a little bit too sus for me uh, some of the offers that I've been sent are super sketchy. Now, personally, I don't know if I would take a sponsorship from a grading service. I might take one, but I would not want to directly be biased by the grades that they're providing me. You know, I'm all for advertising and say like, hey, get your cards graded from so-and-so. However, if I'm directly involved in having my cards graded by them, there's a lot of biases involved in that. So I definitely don't want to invo be involved in that level or sense. So yeah, in general, that's pretty much all I had to say. Definitely be careful with some of these new grading services. A lot of them I think are going to disappear in the next year or two when they realize that they just don't have the liquidity or the, the clout to pretty much push their company to the next level. CGC came out and became uh, the third big grading service in the United States be behind BGS and PSA, but CGC is massive. They've been grading Pokemon cards for a year, and they have millions and millions and millions of dollars to put into Pokemon card grading to really push it into the next level. And they do offer some services that uh, PSA and BGS do not offer. One of the big ones that PSA uh, CGC does offer is that they'll grade error Pokemon cards. They can recognize an error and really put that on the front of the label in a way that PSA and BGS just simply do not do, which I think is neat enough. Right now, my advice is to just hold on to your Pokemon cards. If you are really, really needing to grade your Pokemon cards, then I guess so be it, you know, go grade it with someone. But at the end of the day, for me, I'm willing to wait. So I have a lot of Pokemon cards that are uh, sleeved up and fully ready to be graded. You know, they're all inside of their sleeves. They're inside of their card saver one. They're ready to be shipped off to a grading service. But at the end of the day, the grading services that I normally use are currently inundated. So I'm willing to wait. I'm just going to keep these cars stacked up. They're not going to get any worse in terms of quality. And I'm really patient. You know, this is a long game. A lot of people are thinking about how card prices might look in a year or two. I'm thinking 5, 10, 20 years down the line. This is a very long haul. So I'm willing to wait. I have my Pokemon cards, 
inside of their card savers. They're ready to go get graded whenever PSA, BGS, and CGC start opening up their doors and card grading services are a little bit faster. So that's pretty much all I had to say in today's video. I wanted to make sure that you guys are fully aware of what these grading services are doing. It's definitely a little bit sketchy and some definite uh, questionable practices are being had. We had the Doug Trio Holographic Reverse and in the back we got the Sandaconda V Max. I hit myself with five V Max cards in like, I don't know, that felt like 16 booster packs, but it wasn't a lot of booster packs and we got so many V Max. Definitely one of the re weirdest pack opening I've ever done. All right, everybody, that's the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.